After Lin Lang's travels, he inherited a private museum, the exhibits inside are all great inventions and creations of ancient China. Gradually, Lin Lang realized that there was something wrong with these exhibits, the Zhangheng seismometer, which can accurately warn earthquakes three days in advance. The ancient gunpowder that can explode mushroom clouds. Warring states paint that can completely shield radar waves and infrared radiation. Song Dynasty fireworks with a ceiling of 10,000 meters and a power equivalent to 500 tons of explosives. A compass that can point out the correct direction towards the starry sea, really, I never expected my ancestors to be so awesome. Faced with the all-dot-round crushing of Huaxia technology, Eagle Sauce cried bitterly, stuck neck, any road is stuck. I won't leave any way to survive. Saying we are great powers, why do you call us great powers? Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 Good Death Like it You are listening at NovelFull.audio Good Death Dead so well Looking at the spacious and bright office, when Lin Lang repeatedly confirmed that he had traveled and became the heir to this private museum and a fireworks factory, I couldn't help but cheer excitedly. Finally, there's no need to deliver takeout anymore, finally, there's no need to wake up early and work tirelessly. Free up. Lin Lang was a food delivery rider before crossing over, I went to deliver a late night snack to a customer living on the sixth floor at two o'clock in the middle of the night yesterday, due to overwork, I suddenly had a heart attack and collapsed on the stairs. I didn't expect to cross over. And they also own two industries. It's too late to die. If only I had known I could travel, I would have died earlier. Lin Lang is a bit regretful. After calming down, Lin Lang began to familiarize himself with the information of this world and the situation of his own industry from the memory of fusion. The pattern of this world is similar to the original one. There are still many fields in Han that are choked by eagle sauce. The new rural cooperative medical scheme is still 380. The food delivery industry is also monopolized by two major companies, a certain group and an hungry one. My Groove when Lin Lang saw the operational status of the two industries he inherited, the mental image is like someone pouring a basin of ice water on their head, cooling from the back of their head to the soles of their feet. This museum is called Hua Xia Ji Guang, and it collects and displays all the great inventions and creations of the Han Dynasty over the past 5,000 years. For example, Zhang Heng's seismometer, compass, movable type printing board, Yellow Emperor's Inner Cannon, Ancient Method Gunpowder, Warring States Lacquer, etc. Of course, all of them are counterfeit products. As a private museum, it cannot receive financial support from the government and can only bear its own profits and losses. So far, the employee's salary has been overdue for a month. As for that fireworks factory, due to the implementation of a ban on release in Huaxia several years ago, it has already been shut down. There is only one elderly couple guarding the factory now. Since the end of the Chinese New Year, I haven't received my salary yet. NITMO, there's no pie falling from the sky, on the contrary, I fell into a sinkhole and became a debtor boss. Ding, just as Lin Lang was feeling depressed, a crisp voice suddenly rang out in his mind, super enhanced system binding. Binding successful. Next, Lin Lang realized that he had an extra light blue screen in his mind, there is a font appearing on the screen, which is a system description. After reading the system instructions, Lin Lang understood the function and purpose of this hyper-enhancement system. The system can randomly reinforce anything that Lin Lang possesses, the increase in reinforcement ranges from several times to tens of thousands of times. This system has two characteristics. One is random reinforcement, not controlled by Lin Lang. Secondly, the strengthened thing must be under Lin Lang's own name. In addition, Lin Lang can use the items strengthened by the system to earn reputation points, when the reputation value reaches a certain number, the system will automatically conduct a lottery. 
This is so special, it's not under control yet. Lin Lang became even more depressed. Random reinforcement, simply put, the system can strengthen whenever it wants, strengthen whatever you want. The main theme is to have your own way. System, strengthen. System. After calling twice but the system didn't respond, Lin Lang had to give up. Forget it, Liao Sheng is better than nothing. With a system, there is more or less hope. After studying the system, Lin Lang went downstairs. The Huaxia Light Museum has a total of three floors. The first floor is the reception hall, the second floor is the exhibition area, and the third floor is Lin Lang's office and rest area. The second floor is 500 square meters in size, and each booth displays over a hundred great inventions and creations from the 50 hundred year history of China. Hello boss. When Lin Lang arrived on the second floor, an employee in charge of explanation walked over to greet him. Lin Lang waved his hand and didn't let the guide follow, slowly strolling around the exhibition area on his own. Purple copper compass, brocade gauze clothing, bronze sword, Juga crossbow if these are really cultural relics, they would be worth a lot of money. Lin Lang sighed in his heart. While Lin Lang was strolling around the exhibition area, a news article from Eagle Sauce Country was rapidly fermenting online, news. Ying Jiang has just developed a new generation of GPS earthquake warning system, the system can predict the location of earthquakes with a magnitude of 4 or above globally 15 minutes in advance, with an accuracy rate of up to 80%. Eagle Sauce Country announced that this technology will provide earthquake warning services to 232 countries and regions worldwide, but not including Han country. When the discriminatory announcement of Eagle Saw spread to Han, it instantly triggered a tsunami online. In the live broadcast room of the news channel, the angry barrage of netizens is as dense as snowflakes. Go use Eagle Sauce is too deceiving. Don't we have any countermeasures? We can only watch others strangle us. Counter attack. Take fate in Mao Tai to counter it. It is urgent to gather the strength of the whole country to tackle high.tech issues. Hehe, he, our Academy of Sciences is all made up of tobacco academicians and Maotai academicians. Do you expect them to develop the country through science and technology? Let's take it down. That's right, we have fake in Maotai, which soars to the sky and directly takes the Chinese people out of the Milky Way. When can we truly respect knowledge, respect talents, and not be choked by others when we mourn our misfortunes and remain calm in anger. Just as the Han people were indignant about the discriminatory treatment of Eagle Sauce, in the northwest corner of the exhibition area of the Huaxia Light Museum, Lin Lang is carefully examining a copper instrument that is about 1.5 meters high and has a diameter of about 1 meter. This seismograph was reconstructed based on the structural diagram of Zhang Heng's seismograph recorded in ancient books, it is about 1.5 meters high and has a maximum diameter of 1 meter. The entire body is cast from red copper. The pillar located in the middle of the seismograph is a coiled dragon pillar engraved with teeth, the crossbeam on the column is arched four times, with countless copper knots extending in all directions. These knots can generate high dot frequency resonance to extremely fine vibrations. There is an elliptical copper cylinder wrapped around the panlong pillar and the knot wire, the copper cylinder is covered with a cover, which is connected to the shaft, the dense knots protruding from the panlong pillar are connected to the shaft. On the copper cylinder, eight upside down copper dragons face in eight directions, each dragon has a copper bead in its mouth. And below the dragon mouth stood eight open-mouthed copper toads. At the foot of the copper toad is a bronze plate with a diameter of about two meters. On the copper plate, small seal script is used to engrave the directions of the heavenly stems, earthly branches, and the five elements. It is densely packed with no less than a few thousand words. When the copper beads in the dragon's mouth fall into the mouth of the copper toad, the copper toad that is hit by a collision will move, where to stop moving, the characters pressed by the copper toad represent the time and location of the earthquake. It is said that Zhang Heng successfully predicted two earthquakes that occurred thousands of miles away using this seismograph back then. 
It is precisely because of this that the seismograph is hailed as one of the greatest inventions in the history of the Han Dynasty. If only this seismograph could be as powerful as Eagle Saucer's GPS warning system. Looking at Zhang Heng's seismograph in front of him, Lin Lang murmured. The news online about Eagle Sauce discriminating against Han country just now popped up on his phone, as a Han Chinese, Lin Lang also felt extremely indignant when faced with the public humiliation of Eagle Sauce towards his own country. Ding, Lin Lang had just finished speaking when the sound of the system suddenly rang in his mind. The system has detected a target seismometer that can be reinforced, and it is being reinforced. Successfully reinforced. Enhanced growth rate. 100 times. After strengthening, the seismograph can provide accurate warnings for earthquakes above magnitude 4 globally, up to 72 hours in advance. Surprise comes unexpectedly, Lin Lang is a bit confused. Predicting earthquakes with a magnitude of 4 or above globally 72 hours in advance. Is it so cool? Due to being too excited, Lin Lang felt his body tremble a bit. If the system is not lying, I'm getting rich. And it's a tremendous wealth. There are so many major earthquakes happening globally every year, help them with early warning to reduce economic losses and casualties, isn't it too much to charge some service fees? Of course, the prerequisite is that this seismometer's prediction is truly accurate. Next, all I need to do is wait for an earthquake. God, could you please cause a major earthquake in Japan for me to verify? When? Lin Lang's thoughts had just emerged in his heart, the copper ball in the mouth of one of the dragons on the seismograph fell, the copper toad dropped below and made a crisp sound in its mouth. Next, the copper toad began to move, then it stopped at a distance of 20 centimeters from its original position. Chapter 2 The Price of Arrogance is Destruction you are listening at NovelFull.audio. The falling copper ball is located in the west direction. Lin Lang walked forward, squat down in front of the moving golden toad, then use your hands to take away the golden toad, more than ten heavenly stems, earthly branches, and five element symbols below the golden toad appeared in Lin Lang's field of vision. Immediately after, the system screen in Lin Lang's mind began to flicker, after a few seconds, Two rows of numbers are displayed on the system screen. 615654.56 and 141157.92e This is the system replacing the symbols of the heavenly stems and earthly branches with longitude and latitude. 615654.56 North Latitude 141157.92 East Longitude Subsequently several lines of words appeared below the longitude and latitude. Europe. Ruidian. Bronchen. Countdown time to earthquake. 2 hours and 23 minutes. Earthquake intensity. 8 levels. That is to say, after 2 hours and 23 minutes, a magnitude 8 earthquake will occur in the town of Bulan in Ruidian. After confirming again and again that everything is correct, Lin Lang reset the golden toad and copper ball, then he took out his phone from his pocket, next, it's time to advertise your seismograph. The Real.Time news program hosted by Yang Ma is the most authoritative news program in Han Dynasty, due to the live broadcast of this program, hundreds of thousands of netizens chat about practical matters in the live broadcast room every day, if encountering major global news, the number of people can even reach tens of millions. The discriminatory announcement by Ying Jiang that Han did not provide earthquake warning services has aroused great public outrage, at this moment, in the live broadcast room, more than 6 million netizens are denouncing Eagle Sauce, which condemns all evil. In the snowy barrage, an extremely eye-dot-catching red barrage suddenly floated out. Serious Reminder the Huaxia Glory Museum has used the Zhang Heng seismometer inside the museum to monitor that a magnitude 8 earthquake will occur in the town of Ruidiambulan in Europe in 2 hours and 20 minutes. As soon as this red barrage appears, it immediately caught the attention of netizens in the live broadcast room, next came a large amount of mockery and cursing. Huaxia Glory Museum 
What kind of place is this? Do you think it's appropriate to advertise now? That's right, it's so unethical to even bother with this kind of traffic. Can you even predict an earthquake in two hours' time? Do you still have the Zhang Heng seismometer? Can you blow a little louder? If Zhang Heng seismometer is really so impressive, how could we be choked by foreign devils? Eagle Sauce is so shameless that it only dares to say a 15 minute early warning. You open your mouth for two hours, openly targeting Chinese people. If it spreads to the outside world, the foreign devils will laugh their teeth out. I wish the seismograph invented by our ancestors could be so powerful, so that we can also feel proud and proud, but is it possible? How high is the fever to say such nonsense? After Lin Lang left a comment in the Practical News live broadcast room, he switched to another live broadcast room, naturally, I can't see netizens cursing, mocking, and sneering at me. Six or seven well.known live streaming rooms were posted in a row, in the end, he impulsively even ran to the comment section below Facebook and Twitter, leaving behind the time and latitude coordinates of the earthquake. After completing the advertisement, what Lin Lang needs to do now is to wait, wait for two hours for the big earthquake from the other end of the earth. Just as Lin Lang returned to the office, drinking tea and waiting, the Earthquake Bureau of Injiang Province is holding a press conference in the capital city of Washington. Being able to provide a 15-minute advance warning for earthquakes with a magnitude of 4 or above globally, the prediction accuracy can reach up to 80%, this can already be called a groundbreaking achievement in the field of global earthquake prediction. It should be noted that before this, earthquake warning could be advanced by up to 2 minutes, usually several tens of seconds, at most, this time can allow people to find a relatively safe place to hide nearby, it's impossible to escape the earthquake zone at all. And the GPS warning system of Eagle Sauce Country can advance the alarm time to 15 minutes, this way, there is enough time for most people to leave the dangerous area of the building, there may even be time to move from the epicenter of the earthquake to a safe area. Eagle Sauce Country can achieve such a great breakthrough, thanks to the launch of over 200 geological and meteorological remote sensing satellites and over 2,000 geological exploration bases worldwide. This press conference is hosted by McCass from the Seismological Bureau, with a flushed face, he spoke endlessly in front of the reporter's questions. CNN Reporter Mr. McCass, may I ask if our country's newly developed GPS earthquake warning system can really advance the earthquake warning time to 15 minutes? Beautiful lady, McCarthy proudly looked at CNN reporters, I can proudly tell you now that this is true. Our system can provide a warning for all earthquakes with a magnitude of 4 or above globally 15 minutes in advance, with an accuracy rate of up to 80%. In the future, we will provide earthquake warning services to countries around the world. I believe that with our warning reminders, it will help them minimize the economic losses and casualties caused by earthquakes to the greatest extent possible. As a responsible superpower, this is what we should do. I think people all over the world should thank us for having a powerful, eagle sauce country on this planet. Okay, thank you for Director McCass' answer. May I ask, do we charge for providing early warning services to countries around the world? CNN female reporter continued. Of course, McCarthy didn't hesitate, our system's normal operation requires massive financial support. Compared to the huge property losses and casualties they suffered in earthquakes, the fees we charge are simply insignificant and reasonable. Thank you again, Director McCarthy. Lastly, why do we provide early warning services to all countries and regions around the world, except for China? Can you explain the reason? When the question of CNN female journalist was raised, all the reporters present cheered up, which was also what they wanted to know. McCarthy smiled with a hint of mockery and said, this question is very simple. As we all know, Han claimed to be a civilized country with a history of 5,000 years. 2,000 years ago, their ancestors invented a seismograph that is said to be able to predict earthquakes. Since they already have such advanced instruments, isn't it unnecessary for us to provide them with services again? Do you think so, ha ha ha? 
ha ha ha. Driven by McCarthy, the whole room burst into laughter, filled with mockery and disdain. Half a minute later, the laughter stopped and it was the turn of a middle-aged male journalist with a beard to ask a question. Dear Director McCarthy, I am a journalist from the Mitzi Flag Country newspaper, and I just saw a message on Facebook from China. According to the seismograph invented by their ancestors, it is predicted that in two hours, a magnitude 8 earthquake will occur in the town of Bulan in Ruadian. What do you think about this? After listening to the journalist finish speaking, McCarthy's eyes instantly widened and his expression became strange, Mr. Journalist, McCass forced a smile, do you think the Han people said that in two hours, an 8. magnitude earthquake will occur in the town of Bulan in Ruadian? And it was measured using the antique instruments they invented 2,000 years ago. That's right, it's like this. This message is still in the comments section on Facebook. If you don't believe it, you can go and read it, the middle-aged male journalist replied with a smile. Puff. McCarthy finally couldn't help but laugh, ha ha ha. And other journalists also seem to have heard some big joke, laughing back and forth. Using old objects from 2000 years ago to predict earthquakes. It's just a foolish dream. For a moment, McCarthy barely stopped laughing, wiped away the tears from the corner of his eyes, and said to the male journalist. Mr. Journalist, although today is not April Fool's Day, you have successfully made me laugh. Do you believe that an antique from 2000 years ago predicted an 8. magnitude earthquake thousands of miles away two hours in advance? I'm sorry, I can't help but laugh again, ha ha ha. And the reporters on site were all laughing and discussing, if it comes to boasting, Han people are definitely the world's number one. Predicting earthquakes two hours in advance, I'm afraid only God can do it. They really dare to say it. I have the most say in this matter. I am a reporter from Ruadian National Television News Station. My family lives in Bulan Town, and there has never been any geological disaster in our area for thousands of years. So, let that nonsense Han Chinese die. What I hate the most is this country. The emperor would better let them disappear from the earth. Yes, this is a country full of lies. If the earth had no Han people, it would have been much cleaner. Don't pay attention to these clowns, they will attract attention from the public. Just as reporters at the press conference of the Seismological Bureau were condemning and cursing Lin Lang for releasing earthquake information in Ruidiambulan town, no one knows, in the geological layer located 40 kilometers below the town of Braun, affected by the Mediterranean earthquake zone, a violent earthquake that is unprecedented for Ruidian is brewing wildly. Chapter 3 Big Events Shocking the World you are listening at NovelFull.audio. At 8 p.m. Han time, the night had just fallen, but on the other end of the earth, Ruedian is already 9 o'clock in the morning. Bulan town is located in the western part of Ruedian, 300 kilometers away from the capital city of Stockholm. The small town is not large, with a permanent population of only over 800 people. It is situated by the mountains and by the water, with beautiful scenery. Outside the coffee shop to the west of the town, several local residents are sitting under umbrellas, chatting leisurely around a wooden table. And the chubby coffee shop owner David is busy making coffee for customers, the rich and fragrant aroma of coffee permeates with the heat in the coffee pot, refreshing the heart. Suddenly, David, wearing a red checkered apron and focused on brewing coffee, felt a slight shake in his body, the coffee in his spoon spilled a little and landed on the white sports shoes he had just bought, which was particularly eye-dot catching. Oh no, damn it, God. David looked remorseful, thinking he hadn't stood firm just now. David's words had just finished, suddenly, he shook his body again, even more intense than before, scared, he quickly supported the nearby cabinet rack with his hand. As soon as he stood firm, he saw a scene that left him in awe, the mountain peak he had known since childhood in the distance shook in his eyes. Before David can react, what's going on, the earth began to tremble violently, the nearby cabinet shook and all the dishes slipped off the shelf. 
Immediately afterwards, a heart-wrenching cry came from outside. Earthquake, run! David suddenly woke up in shock, as he threw away the coffee spoon in his hand and was about to rush out the door, the roof of the CAFA collapsed, and David's eyes turned black and he lost consciousness urgent news. The town of Braun, located in Rouedien, Europe, experienced an 8. magnitude earthquake at 9.12 a.m. this morning, turning the entire town into ruins with unknown casualties when Lin Lang saw this message popping up on his phone screen, he knew that no one could stop his path to wealth. And at this moment, in the real dot time news live broadcast room, it's as lively as a vegetable market, all about the successful prediction of earthquakes by the Huaxia Glory Museum, the only difference from before is that, the attitude of netizens has changed from mockery and anger to shock and admiration. Predicting earthquakes more than two hours in advance, the time, location, and earthquake magnitude are exactly the same, is this something that humans can do? When netizens dug up the barrage posted by Lin Lang, apart from shock, no more language can express their boiling emotions. Brothers, I just want to know where this Huaxia Glory Museum is now. I have to go and kowtow a few heads to their director, it's amazing. Number 178 Shua Song Road, East Second Ring Road, Zhonghai City. Please keep it safe. I have already taken my incense and headed over there. We will have a live broadcast for you then. I can't think of how to accurately predict earthquakes beyond 10,000 miles, except for black technology, more than two hours in advance. Eyes are a good thing, but unfortunately you're blind. They write clearly and were detected using Zhang Heng's seismometer. 2,000 years ago, the invention was so amazing that it was so powerful. I just want to say that our ancestors were powerful. Let those fools who worship foreign things see that even our technology 2,000 years ago is still far ahead in today's world. I didn't expect our ancestors to vent their anger on us in the end. We should strive for self-improvement, otherwise how can we meet our ancestors after death? Ha ha ha, really refreshing. Where's eagle sauce? Come out and take two steps. Isn't your warning system the most advanced in the world? Why didn't you even fart when an earthquake occurred? Huh, it's okay if you don't ask, but if you don't make a sound, I strongly recommend that the Huaxia Glory Museum use its own way to repay its people and refuse to provide earthquake warning services to Ingjiang. That's called foolishness. Why don't you provide it? It's in US dollars, isn't it fragrant? We'll charge it a service fee of 1 billion for each offer. Brothers, I've heard that the reason why this museum is called Huaxia Glory is because it showcases the great inventions of our ancestors over the past 5,000 years. Most importantly, this is a private museum, and there is no doubt that the owner is a passionate and patriotic person. Private museums do not have financial support, and they are promoting our brilliant civilization on their own. I'm sorry, this is a righteous person. Could you please ask the brothers from Zhonghai to inquire about the account of this museum so that I can donate some money? I also want to donate, the glory of our ancestors needs us to protect and promote together. Add me and do my best. Not only millions of netizens were shocked, but even the National Earthquake Administration of China was shocked. At this time, an emergency meeting is being held in the conference room of the Seismological Bureau, the chairman of the meeting is Jiang Yucheng, the director of the Seismological Bureau, and the attendees are not only leaders but also experts. After taking a sip of water, put the insulated cup with goji berries back on the table, Jiang Yuching glanced at the crowd, Ning Xing said, let's discuss. What do you think about the earthquake warning results of this Huaxia Glory Museum? Dear everyone, on the first day of the new book, I am looking for data support, flowers, monthly tickets, and evaluation tickets. I am very grateful, as long as there is data, I will be at 20 on the first day. Chapter 4 You're not throwing salt, you're stabbing a knife into your heart. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Upon hearing what Jiang Yuching said, an elderly man with gray hair and black framed glasses sitting on his left side spoke, Jiang Ju, 
with my professional knowledge and experience, I feel that the prediction results of this museum have no scientific basis, purely out of luck. The old man's name is Li Yud, an authoritative expert in seismology in the Han Dynasty. He led the current earthquake monitoring system in the Han Dynasty. Listening to what Li Yud said, Jiang Yuching nodded, he also agrees with Li Yud's statement, with a replica of a seismograph dating back 2000 years, it accurately predicted earthquakes two hours in advance, how to listen, how mystical. This museum must have been a blind cat bumping into a dead mouse. It should be noted that earthquake prediction is an extremely rigorous geological science, at present, the most mainstream prediction method worldwide is to intercept the longitudinal and transverse waves generated by seismic zones, but due to the transmission speed of seismic waves reaching several kilometers per second, the earthquake monitoring system can only issue an alarm at most half a minute before an earthquake occurs. The GPS global warning system just developed by Injiang country can advance the warning time to 15 minutes, this can already be considered an extremely remarkable achievement. To achieve a 2.hour early warning, it may not be possible to complete it within 10 years. As soon as Li Yud spoke, other experts present nodded in agreement and unanimously agreed with Li Yud's views. But although this museum's prediction was due to luck, we still want to thank them, after all, they saved us some face and slapped eagle sauce country hard. When he said these words, Li Yud, who had always been unsmiling, had a rare hint of a smile on his face. Today is definitely the most agonizing day for the Earthquake Bureau in recent years. In the morning, Injiang country announced the successful development of a GPS global earthquake warning system, providing earthquake early warning services to countries around the world, but excluding Han. Angry netizens not only condemned the discrimination of cursing eagle sauce, but also, they all ran to the official website of the National Earthquake Administration to leave messages, blaming the Earthquake Bureau for being a vegetarian, a bunch of wine and rice bags, and spending taxpayers' money on human affairs. As the chief earthquake expert, Li Yud felt ashamed to the point of being ashamed. He also wants to develop earthquake prediction technology as powerful as GPS earthquake warning systems, but scientific research is not just a slogan, it needs to be built with money. In order to develop an earthquake warning system, Eagle Sauce Country, in recent years, more than 200 geological exploration satellites have been launched, the research and development budget is even in the billions of dollars, the earthquake research and development funds in Han Dynasty are not even a fraction of their own, a clever woman cannot cook without rice, what can he do? Fortunately, the Huaxia Glory Museum managed to turn the tide and win a round, this has somewhat relieved the pressure on the shoulders of Li Yud and Jiang Yucheng. So, for this museum, they still have some gratitude in their hearts. How many families are happy and how many families are worried, because the Huaxia Glory Museum successfully predicted the earthquake in Bulan Town, the pressure on the Han Earthquake Bureau was greatly reduced, but the days for the Injiang Earthquake Bureau are not easy, facing the microphones extended by the journalists, Director McCarthy no longer has the arrogance he had two hours ago, laughing is even uglier than crying, but he can't escape yet. I had to grit my head and force a smile to answer the reporter's various sharp and sarcastic questions, the first person to ask this question is still CNN female journalist Audrey. Audrey may look like Sophie Marceau, but her questions are incredibly sharp, every sentence is like an arrow shooting straight into McCarthy's heart. Mr. McCass, in the face of the 8-dot magnitude earthquake that just occurred in Ruidiambulan town, Han can accurately predict it two hours in advance based solely on what you said was an outdated antique dating back 2,000 years. However, our GPS earthquake warning system, which costs billions and is claimed to be the world's most sensitive and accurate, has not responded at all. What do you think of this matter? Let me see a hammer. How do I know what's going on? A pile of scrap copper and iron can predict earthquakes two hours in advance from 10,000 miles away. What a crazy dog. How did they do it? The most frustrating thing is that our earthquake warning system has not responded to a magnitude 8 earthquake at all, what the hell is going on McCass was crazy roast in his heart. He could already imagine, it won't be long, 
the elders in Congress will definitely spit on themselves with this matter. Roast is roast, and he has to deal with the press conference in front of him. At this moment, he wished he could slap himself twice, let me ask you to openly slander the ancient inventions of the Han dynasty, all right now, dig your own pit and bury yourself. Beautiful journalist lady, McCass wiped the sweat off his chubby face, and his already red rosacea nose turned even redder, I think the prediction of that museum in Han dynasty is just luck. You may not know that earthquake warning is an extremely rigorous discipline that requires a large amount of accurate data support during the warning process, so. As a journalist, what is needed is hot topics. Audrey doesn't want to listen to McCarthy's dry and uninteresting explanations, so she directly interrupts McCarthy's words, Mr. McCarthy, let's not talk about the cause for now. As for the outcome, in this earthquake warning in Blank Town, our GPS warning system was defeated by an antique from Han Dynasty 2000 years ago. Do you agree with what I say? I, it's like this. Although reality is cruel, McCarthy had to grit his teeth and nod. Okay, thank you for Mr. McCarthy's honest answer. Let's move on to the next question. When Audrey's second question was just spoken, McCarthy choked Audrey's heart. You're not throwing salt on the wound anymore, you're stabbing yourself in the heart. Chapter 5 Great Earthquakes Eagle Sauce You are listening at NovelFull.audio Audrey Mr. McCarthy, as far as I know, this seismograph is just a replica. Is it possible that a genuine one would have stronger earthquake warning capabilities? Also, as a professional, could you explain the earthquake warning principle of a seismograph? Faced with Audrey's malicious problem, McCarthy had the heart to kill Audrey, I just demoted the Han Dynasty seismograph to nothing two hours ago, but now you're asking me to praise it. Are you still human? If Kwa Han seismometer Nyo Bai is equivalent to denying the GPS earthquake warning system developed by his own country with billions of dollars invested, which country will continue to use its own warning services in the future? McCarthy naturally wouldn't be so foolish, rubbing his rosacea vigorously, McCarthy confidently said. They were just lucky enough to get it right. If the seismograph invented by the Han dynasty 2000 years ago could accurately predict earthquakes, why did Han still spend energy and money developing their own earthquake prediction system? Isn't this very contradictory? After saying this sentence, McCarthy's face showed a smug expression, he applauded his answer in his heart, flawless, simply perfect. I am so wise. But McCarthy's proud expression did not last for a few seconds, and Audrey's next question dragged him into the abyss. Thank you again, Mr. McCass. Lastly, there has just been an earthquake of magnitude 8 in Braun Town, and our GPS warning system has not responded at all. Do you think there is a problem in which aspect? Or is this system not yet mature enough because it has not been tested in practice? McCarthy, dot. In his eyes at this moment, Audrey's stunning face has been fantasized into a demonic appearance with blue faces and fangs, make him feel disgusted and fearful. He has already made up his mind and will notify the security guard soon. In the future, he will definitely not let this woman in. McCarthy wanted to cry without tears, on the other side of the ocean, Lin Lang's mood was surprisingly good. Just now, the system suddenly prompted him that his reputation value has reached the lottery criteria and he can participate in the lottery. The reward Lin Lang received was 12 elite level security guards, each with a legal identity and is an all dot around military king, 100% loyal to the host and now on duty. The security team of these 12 people really arrived just in time. Lin Lang is worried that this seismograph will be coveted and destroyed by others after becoming famous, with these 12 military king level security guards guarding, if someone wants to approach the seismograph without their own permission, it can be said that it is more difficult than reaching the sky. As the saying goes, if you're not afraid of thieves stealing, you're afraid of thieves thinking, this seismograph, which has been strengthened by the system, is its own cash cow, never be destroyed by anyone. Just as Lin Lang was pondering whether to buy a bulletproof glass cover to protect the seismograph, 
the staff responsible for reception on the first floor ran up to report, many people have come outside, all the people who came to visit the seismograph in admiration. Lin Lang secretly felt grateful for his previous wisdom, let the employees directly lock the door, and a notice was posted. Today, the circuit maintenance in the museum is temporarily closed, and the opening time is to be determined. In addition, he also indicated on the notice that, if tourists want to see the exhibits in the museum, you can visit the official website of Huaxia Glory Museum, there are high-definition pictures of each exhibit inside, including the seismograph. After listening to the museum staff's explanation, the tourists finally dispersed. Lin Lang chose to close the museum for reasons he had no choice but to do so. The Huaxia Glory Museum is not large, only three floors in total. The first floor is the reception hall, the second floor is the exhibition area, with an area of approximately 500 square meters. Besides the boss Lin Lang, there are a total of 10 staff members, including security, cleaning, and electricians. There is simply no ability to accommodate tourists of over a hundred people. For the sake of safety, Lin Lang simply uploaded the museum's exhibits and exhibitions online. Due to the precise prediction of the earthquake in Ruidianbulan town using the seismograph invented 2,000 years ago, moreover, it was just after Eagle Sauce Country announced that it would not provide GPS earthquake warning services to Han Country, the Huaxia Glory Museum brought glory to the country and slapped Eagle Sauce in the face during the lowest period of national sentiment, causing a surge of national pride and honor among the Han people, for a while, the official account of. The Huaxia Glory Museum, which had not attracted much attention, soon attracted millions of fans. In just half an hour, with over 300,000 likes and thousands of comments, all thanks to the Huaxia Glory Museum. There are still many netizens leaving comments in the comments section, inquire about the bank account of Huaxia Glory Museum, they want to donate to the Huaxia Glory Museum, to contribute my humble efforts in safeguarding and promoting the wisdom of our ancestors. Lin Lang asked two security personnel who are proficient in the network to maintain the official account and official website, while he hurried to the second floor. Just now, the system reminded Lin Lang that there was another copper ball falling from the seismometer. That is to say, another earthquake has occurred in some places. The copper ball that fell this time is located in the northwest, and the copper toad moved 14 centimeters outward. After the system converts the symbols of the heavenly stems and earthly branches into geographical coordinates, in Lin Lang's mind, two rows of numbers and one row of numbers are displayed on the system screen, 33,378.37, and latitude 1,171,437.80. West longitude A 6.2 magnitude earthquake is expected to occur in 23 hours and 41 minutes in the mountainous area of Bana Mountain in the northwest of Ingjiang Guoluo Mountain Chicken City. Lin Lang was instantly excited, great, here's the opportunity to earn US dollars with pain slaying eagle sauce. Seeking Flowers, Monthly Tickets, and Evaluation Tickets Chapter 6 It's finally our turn to get stuck in someone else's neck. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Lin Lang immediately took out his phone to check the situation in this area. It's okay to check, the excitement on Lin Lang's face instantly disappeared. This area belongs to mountainous and desert areas and is 70 kilometers away from the nearest town, with no one living there at all. Unmanned area. How can this mud horse make money? Easy to handle. The depression only lasted for a very short time, and Lin Lang became happy again. He no longer hesitated and directly logged into the official website of the Huaxia Glory Museum, using administrator privileges to publish announcements on the official website homepage, warning. In 23 hours, an earthquake with a magnitude of 6 or above will occur in a certain area in the western part of Ingjiang country. Local authorities and residents are advised to prepare for geological disaster prevention. This earthquake warning will charge a service fee. If you want to know the specific geographical location, please contact the Huaxia Glory Museum. May God bless the residents of this place with peace. Lin Lang's move is not only non-toxic, 
but also somewhat despicable, he told Eagle Sauce Country that an earthquake would occur in the western region, even the time of the earthquake was mentioned. But I won't tell you the specific location. The western part of Eagle Sauce Country is really big, there are 13 states, including the capital Washington. How to prevent it? Can't we relocate all the population from the western region to the eastern region? This is simply not realistic. In addition, he referred to a 6.2 magnitude earthquake as a magnitude 6 or higher, which is also ambiguous because a 12 magnitude earthquake also falls under the category of magnitude 6 or higher. Not to mention, the most toxic aspect of Lin Lang's earthquake warning is that, if he doesn't make this announcement, no matter where an earthquake occurs in Ingjiang country, people can only accept their lives, this is a natural disaster, and the people are not blaming the government. But as soon as Lin Lang's announcement was made, if the highest institution of Eagle Sauce Country chooses to ignore or do not believe, once an earthquake occurs, the leader of Eagle Sauce Country will be labeled as indifferent to life and disregarding the lives of the people, at that time, the anger of the people and opposition will definitely burn the White Palace into ruins. The leader and highest authority of Eagle Sauce Country cannot bear this responsibility, let alone take this risk, so, they will definitely come looking for Lin Lang. At that time, Lin Lang the final say about how much to charge. The current Huaxia Glory Museum has become a hot topic with millions of fans, so as soon as Lin Lang's announcement was issued, it will soon ferment online. A certain big V live broadcast room, ha ha ha, retribution comes so fast. Let's see how Eagle Sauce takes this move. Finally, it's our turn to get stuck in someone else's neck. Without a billion yuan, we won't be able to negotiate this deal. The Huaxia Glory Museum clearly intends to extort Eagle Sauce with great force, well done. Ing Jiang has cried and fainted in the restroom. Not specifying the location, it's a wicked thing, it's too damaging. I have forwarded this announcement to Facebook, now it's Eagle Sauce Country's turn to panic. The move of the Huaxia Glory Museum is too poisonous. The western part of the Eagle Sauce Country is so large that there is no way to prevent it. Has a geological expert come out to popularize the destructive power of earthquakes with a magnitude of 6 or above? I am a graduate student at the University of Geosciences, and I can answer this question, earthquakes are divided into three levels. Weak, moderate, and strong. Levels 1 to 3 are called weak earthquakes, and levels 4 to 5 are called moderate earthquakes. These two levels of earthquakes have little destructive power, and people usually only feel the earthquake, but they do not cause significant damage to buildings. But if an earthquake reaches a magnitude of 6, it is called a strong earthquake, which can cause damage to buildings and public facilities such as gas pipelines and water pipelines, and result in casualties. The announcement from the Huaxia Glory Museum shows a magnitude of 6 or above, which is even more difficult to say. If the magnitude reaches 8, it is enough to destroy a city upon hearing the professional's explanation, the water enthusiasts in the live broadcast room immediately became boiling, I remember Washington was also in the western part of Eagle Sauce Country, right? It wouldn't be too much to give him a magnitude 10 earthquake. Level 10 how much do you look down upon the White Palace? You must strive for first place, and level 12 will be arranged. Yellowstone Park seems to be located in the western part of Eagle Sauce Country. If a major earthquake occurs there, it would be a disaster, and the entire Eagle Sauce will have to close its doors. I'm sorry, your idea is very dangerous. If the Yellowstone earthquake causes a volcanic eruption, the whole human race may have to play it out. Now that the pressure is on Eagle Sauce's side, is this considered lifting a stone and hitting oneself in the foot? Ha ha ha, wait to eat the melon. Huaxia glory has truly become the glory of our country. If this prediction is truly successful, this museum, which has turned the tide at a critical moment in the country, will become the true backbone of the nation, and the museum owner will also become a national hero. The announcement of the Huaxia Glory Museum has been wildly forwarded online, and the relevant departments of the Han Dynasty are also not calm. 
At this time, an emergency meeting is being held in the conference room on the third floor of the National Earthquake Administration, the person presiding over the meeting is still Director Jiang Yuchen, the theme of the conference discussion is the announcement just released by the Huaxia Glory Museum. The Huaxia Glory Museum is not a professional earthquake monitoring unit, the Earthquake Bureau could have completely ignored this announcement, but the problem is, this museum has just successfully predicted an 8 magnitude earthquake tens of thousands of miles away. The scariest thing is that the time, location, and magnitude are all correct. If it's just luck, it's too unlucky. So, they have to take the earthquake warning notice issued by the Huaxia Glory Museum seriously. Dear everyone, for new books, please ask for flowers, monthly tickets, and evaluation tickets. If there is any data, please make it to the 20th on the first day. Chapter 7 Eagle Sauce Han people are too bad to talk about. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Li Lao, do you think their prediction will be successful this time? asked Li Yud, the chief seismologist sitting next to Jiang Yucheng. Li Yud smiled bitterly and said, I really can't assert whether I can succeed now. I made earthquake predictions more than 20 hours in advance, and current technology is simply unable to do it. In other words, this is no longer science, but the realm of metaphysics. To put it aside, I definitely say it's absolutely impossible, but the problem is that this museum has already had successful precedents, so it's hard to say. My suggestion is to wait and see what happens. If the prediction fails, it means they are just lucky. If their prediction is successful this time, we will immediately contact this museum and even at any cost, purchase this seismometer for research. There must be higher than modern technology hidden in this seismometer. Jiang Yuching nodded and agreed with Li Yud's statement, All right, let's listen to Li Lao and observe the changes. Speaking of which, Jiang Yuching smiled and said, Hee hee, Feng Shui has turned upside down. Now, it's our turn on the other side of the ocean to be anxious. From the announcement of this museum, it seems that they are not vegetarians. It is obvious that they are going to hit Eagle Sauce Country hard. Ha ha ha. A burst of happy laughter echoed in the conference room. This morning, they were overwhelmed by the discriminatory announcement from Eagle Sauce Country and couldn't lift their heads, only a few hours later, the situation reversed and the pressure completely piled up on the side of Eagle Sauce Country. They were thrilled to think of the embarrassed appearance of McCass, the director of the Yingjiang Earthquake Administration, during an interview they just saw. The National Earthquake Administration is not the only one following the Huaxia Glory Museum, this also includes the National Security Agency, but they are only paying attention and have not taken any action at the moment. The various units of Han remain silent, but the institutions of Eagle Sauce could not sit still. The Earthquake Bureau is the first to bear the brunt. McCarthy just returned to the office from the press conference, I didn't even have a chance to take a sip of the coffee brewed by the beautiful secretary, just one phone call was called to the federal parliament. The announcement released by the Han Dynasty Huaxia Glory Museum has been widely circulated on Twitter and Facebook in Eagle Sauce Country, even causing panic throughout the western region, the old men of the federal parliament cannot pretend to turn a blind eye. After all, the state of Washington, where they are located, also belongs to the western region, and all the family members live here. If a major earthquake occurs in Washington, it will be their own fault. So, after listening to the report, the Speaker of the Federal Parliament, Brooming, immediately summoned the Director of the Earthquake Bureau, McCarthy. Director McCarthy, Blooming, with a slender figure and a hooked nose, spoke in an unprecedentedly stern tone, I don't want to hear any explanation, I just want to know, what is the likelihood of a major earthquake occurring in the western region within 24 hours? Blooming is one of the most powerful people in Eagle Sauce Country, when he asked this question, McCarthy's forehead began to sweat out again. This old bastard, the question he asked is too intellectual, I'm not God, how do I know if an earthquake will really happen? But he could only think about this in his heart, but dared not speak it out. He trembled and said, 
Dear Mr. Speaker, our GPS earthquake warning system can only detect earthquake information 15 minutes in advance, so I don't know if an earthquake will occur. However, the Pacific Plate, where the western region is located, has not been very active recently, and in my personal experience, the likelihood of an earthquake occurring is not high. Bastard. Blooming slammed the table angrily. There is no record of an earthquake occurring in the town of Braun in Ruedien for a thousand years. Is it different that an 8. magnitude earthquake occurred? More than 200 satellites, with a budget of over 10 billion yuan, can't compare to a pile of scrap metal from Han 2000 years ago. Shame. You are the shame of Eagle Sauce Country, all trash. Yes, yes, you're right, Mr. Speaker. It's our incompetence. McCarthy dared not speak back at all, bowing down and constantly admitting his mistake. Beads of sweat the size of beans kept dripping from McCarthy's forehead onto the floor, but he dared not wipe it with his hands. Get out, get out of here immediately. Blooming looked at McCarthy and became increasingly angry, roaring as he kicked him out. As McCarthy left, Blooming, with a gloomy expression, took a few deep breaths to calm the anger in his chest. Then pick up the phone from the desk and make a call, the phone quickly answered, and Blooming said in a low voice, I am the Speaker of the Federal Parliament, Blooming. I want to see the leader, yes, right now. Twenty minutes later, inside the oval-shaped office on the west wing of the White Palace, five people sat on the sofa with serious expressions. This is the first time in Eagle Sauce Country that a national-level conference has been held for a private museum in another country. The graying-haired man sitting on the middle sofa is Dukens, the head of the Eagle Sauce Country. On his left is Federal Speaker Brooming, and on his right is Defense Secretary Evans with four Venus on his shoulder in military uniform. On the opposite left is FBI Director Cooper, and next to Cooper is Intelligence Agency Director Phillips. Lin Lang probably wouldn't even dream of it, in his own announcement, he unexpectedly gathered together several of the most powerful people from Eagle Sauce Country. What should we do? Dukins rubbed his brow and asked the four of them. Ladies and gentlemen, on the first day of the new book, we request all data support, flowers, monthly tickets, and evaluation tickets. Thank you very much. Chapter 8 Eagle Sauce bows its head for peace and spends money to calm disaster. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Mr. Leader, said Speaker Blooming, we still have time. I suggest that Phillips immediately activate the intelligence network lurking in Han to determine if this museum is maliciously extorting us. I disagree, Intelligence Director Phillips immediately expressed opposition. I oppose the Speaker's suggestion. Mr. Leader, first of all, this museum must have been monitored and even protected by Han intelligence agencies now. Sending someone over now is undoubtedly like falling into a trap. Our intelligence personnel are all elites who have been trained with countless efforts and money. Each of them has an important task to shoulder, because the exposure of this matter is not worth the loss. Secondly, time is not allowed. There are only 20.1 hours left until the museum announces the time of the earthquake, and even if intelligence personnel are activated, they do not have time to conduct an investigation. When Philip said these words, everyone fell silent. Phillips is right. Han is the most difficult country for global intelligence personnel to lurk in, because this earthquake, which is highly likely not to occur, has triggered undercover spies, and the cost is too high. Damn Han people. Dukens, who was accustomed to using force to hold other countries, was being held for the first time, which made him feel very unhappy. Mr. Leader, said the director of the investigation bureau, Cooper, there is no scientific basis for the earthquake prediction at this museum. I strongly suspect that this is their scam, with the aim of seeing us embarrass ourselves and trying to save face lost this morning. My suggestion is to ignore them, don't worry about them. Mr. Cooper, Defense Secretary Evans said coldly to Cooper, your words are extremely irresponsible to our country and citizens. What if there really is an earthquake? What if an earthquake occurs in the Washington area? 
that's an earthquake with a magnitude of 6 or above, maybe it's still a magnitude of 8 or 9. Can you bear the consequences? At that time, you will be the culprit of the country. I. Cooper remained silent. He's not stupid, if he insists that there won't be an earthquake, if an earthquake really occurs, these four people will not hesitate to push themselves out as scapegoats. After discussing for another half hour, the five finally came up with a solution, let the Ministry of Foreign Affairs contact Han, let the higher-ups of the Han dynasty put pressure on this museum, force him to hand over the exact location of the earthquake. Eagle Sauce used to do this often before, in order to develop the economy, Han all gritted their teeth and compromised. In their belief, Han will still compromise this time. After all, no one in this world dares to be tough with eagle sauce. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs replied quickly, and the result was beyond their expectations. The response from the Han side is not to interfere with the operation of private enterprises, but they can help pull strings and build bridges. Bastard. Dukans angrily dropped the phone. The meaning of Han is very obvious, it is to use this museum to kill oneself. But I still have to stretch my neck out to be slaughtered. Where is our aircraft carrier? Dukens has never felt so angry before, he remembered the aircraft carrier fleet that was often used to bully people, I want to use force to force Han to submit. Please calm down, Mr. Leader. Using force is not a wise move, after all, we only have 20.1 hours. If that damn museum's prediction is really accurate, it's likely that an earthquake will occur before the aircraft carrier can reach its destination. Besides, are we really ready to go to war with Han? Upon hearing Defense Minister Evans say this, Dukins immediately wilted. It's okay to brag in front of young brothers from all over the world, but if we really go to war with Han, Dukins never thought about it. After all, Han is not a small Middle Eastern country, once a battle breaks out, the enemy will be harmed by 10,000 and the enemy will be self-harmed by 8,000, Japan and Europe, these bastards, are secretly waiting for eagle sauce to decline and rise, so naturally Dukens will not give them a chance. I can't fight anymore, there is only one way now, bow down and seek peace, spend money to alleviate the disaster. After a brief discussion, they decided to fully entrust Consul Aubrey of the Eagle Sauce Consulate in China to negotiate with the Huaxia Glory Museum. Bad news travels fast. For the sake of his own face, Eagle Sauce Country originally intended to secretly manipulate this matter, unexpectedly, Aubrey had just received an order from Eagle Sauce Country and had not yet left the consulate gate, the news of Eagle Sauce sending consuls to the Huaxia Glory Museum to seek peace spread online. The whole world is booing. In the morning, he vowed to develop the world's most advanced earthquake warning system, Eagle Sauce, sending someone to Han country in the afternoon to seek peace and buy earthquake information is simply a huge mockery. Dukens, who was sitting in the Oval Office of the White Palace and waiting for news, saw the widespread ridicule on the internet, at that time, he smashed the Big Dipper patterned coffee cup that his grandmother gave him. At 6.10 p.m., Lin Lang received a notice from the Foreign Affairs Department of the Zhonghai City Hall, it is said that in half an hour, Consul Aubrey of Eagle Sauce Country will come to visit the museum, prepare him for the reception. After hanging up the phone, Lin Lang immediately asked the security personnel to open the door, the God of Wealth has arrived, we must open the door to welcome him. On the first day of the new book, seeking flowers, evaluation tickets, and monthly ticket support. Chapter 9. Is too dark, why don't you go grab it? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Half an hour later, three black cars drove into the courtyard of the Huaxia Glory Museum. The car door opened and a group of people got out of the car. There are both Han Chinese and foreigners. One of the middle-aged men wearing glasses walked out with a smile to welcome Lin Lang, Director Lin, right. I am Chen Jiang, Director of the Foreign Affairs Office of the City Hall. I have been ordered to lead Mr. Aubrey, Consul of the Consulate General of Injiang Country in China to visit the museum. Mr. Aubrey is our esteemed foreign guest, we must be prepared for the reception. Please rest assured, our entire museum is ready for reception. 
Lin Lang smiled as he held Chen Zhang's hand. Okay, okay, that's good. Later, Chen Zhang patted Lin Lang's arm with his other hand and lowered his voice, Director Lin, you did a great job. Lin Lang knew that Chen Jiang was talking about bringing glory to his country and smiled, saying, thank you for your affirmation. This is what we should do. Subsequently, Chen Jiang introduced Lin Lang and Aubrey to each other, led by Lin Lang, the group walked towards the museum. Just as Lin Lang led Aubrey and others to visit the museum, at this moment, in the live broadcast room of practical news, like the festive New Year, the splendid fireworks never stop. Ha ha ha, today is a good day. In the morning, I was still waving my teeth and claws. I was the best in the world, and in the afternoon, I came with my tail between my legs to make peace. My face was slapping loudly. For the Huaxia Glory Museum, I can only describe it in two words. Nyobi. Do you think it's possible that the Huaxia Glory Museum is in the country of Falcon Sauce? Whether to cheat or not is no longer important. Would he dare to gamble in Eagle Sauce Country? That's right, in case of a major earthquake, Dukens will have to pack his bags and roll out of the White Palace tomorrow night. I bet, how much will the service fee for the Huaxia Glory Museum be this time? I guess $20 million. $20 million. You look down on people so much. Eagle Sauce has a lot of wealth at least 50 million. Be bold, I guess 1 billion. You're not just guessing, you're talking nonsense. Eagle Sauce Country is not a fool, how much do you want to give you? I also think it's impossible. For the sake of the relationship between the two countries, it's impossible for Han to let the lion in the Huaxia Glory Museum open its mouth. It's reliable between 20 million to 50 million yuan. What I'm talking about is Han currency. I agree. This will save face for the Han dynasty and bring in a large sum of money, achieving the best of both worlds. Yes, since it's a service fee, it can't be too high. After all, there has been more than one earthquake. You're charging 50 million yuan for eagle sauce this time, and how much will other countries charge next time? Without rules, it won't be possible. On the northwest corner of the second floor, a group of people gathered in front of the seismograph, curiously looking around, no one can figure it out, how can we predict earthquakes with just this pile of copper products? Of course, no one expected that Lin Lang had a cheat. My god, it's amazing. Han is indeed a magical country. Very beautiful. Looking at the seismograph over a meter high in front of him, Aubrey was amazed. After obtaining Lin Lang's consent, he took out his phone and started shooting at the seismograph. Lin Lang Chen Jiang looked at Lin Lang with some concern. As a foreign affairs personnel, received training on confidentiality regulations, knowing that every expatriate has another unknown identity. A spy An embassy and consulate personnel are even more spies dressed in legal attire. Aubrey's phone must have undergone special treatment. If this seismometer can really predict earthquakes, it will definitely be a national weapon, Chen Jiang is worried that the secret of the seismograph will be captured by Aubrey. Faced with Chen Jiang's concerns, Lin Lang smiled and shook his head slightly, indicating that he didn't need to be nervous. Not to mention filming, let them move and dismantle this seismograph for research, they couldn't figure out the real secret of using seismometers to predict earthquakes. The core secret of the seismograph is the system in one's own mind, not the copper object in front of them. Five minutes later, Aubrey contentedly put away her phone, expressed to Lin Lang that the visit is completed, both parties can now negotiate on service fees. Lin Lang took Chen Jiang, Aubrey, and others to the third floor office, wait for the employees to finish brewing tea and exit, Aubrey said sternly, Director Lin, let's get to the point. What is your earthquake warning service fee? Lin Lang smiled and said, Mr. Aubrey, as you just saw, I have a large group of employees here who need to spend money. In addition, maintenance and upkeep in the library are all places where money is spent. I don't want much either. 
It's a fixed price of 500 million. I'll send you the location of the earthquake as soon as the money arrives on your end. Aubrey is proficient in Chinese, as soon as Lin Lang's quotation was finished, he looked as if he had seen a ghost, his eyes instantly widened and he screamed. Oh my goodness, Director Lin, did I hear you right. Five billion Han coins. God, do you have any misunderstandings about not asking for these three words too much? Not only Aubrey was shocked, and Chen Jiang sitting beside him, he shook his hand and the water in the cup almost spilled on his leg. Five hundred million Han coins, this is no longer a lion's big mouth, it's simply a blatant robbery. Chen Jiang had anticipated that this negotiation was highly likely to end in a breakdown. Although there are rumors of asking exorbitant prices to pay back money in business, what you're asking for is too high. What Chen Jiang and Aubrey didn't expect was that, what shocked them even more is still to come, Lin Lang crossed his legs and looked at Aubrey with a faint smile, saying, Mr. Aubrey, I think you misunderstood. Five billion. It's not Chinese currency. But it's a beautiful knife. On the first day of the new book, please ask for flowers, monthly tickets, and evaluation tickets. Thank you very much. Chapter 10 Hate to the point of gritting one's teeth but feeling helpless. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Before Aubrey arrived, Lin Lang was already prepared, I finally caught eagle sauce, this fat sheep. I'm sorry for the system if I don't go to hell. As soon as Lin Lang spoke, Aubrey jumped up from the sofa like a step tail, staring angrily at Lin Lang and screaming. Five hundred million dollars. Are you crazy? Director Lin, I don't think you have the sincerity to negotiate at all. Lin Lang spread out his hand and had a look of wanting to be beaten. Mr. Aubrey, I think you're wrong again. This is not a negotiation, it's you begging me to come, isn't it? I. Aubrey, who has always been elegant in appearance, almost spoke rudely, at this moment, he had the heart to strangle Lin Lang, but his mission forced him to calm down, taking a deep breath, he said to Lin Lang, Director Lin, I really came with sincerity. You have no sincerity at all. Lin Lang rudely interrupted Aubrey's words, Mr. Aubrey, don't you know how severe the disaster caused by earthquakes with a magnitude of six or above is? Or do you think your citizens' lives are not worth five hundred million dollars in your eyes? I. Aubrey cursed Lin Lang's ancestors for eighteen generations in his heart, this yellow-skinned monkey is so despicable, he even carried out moral kidnapping on himself. Lin Lang's words are easy to understand, your unwillingness to spend money is simply ignoring the lives of the people. If Aubrey refuses on the spot, once today's meeting video is released, people in their own country can curse themselves to death. The people of Eagle Sauce Country are not as kind as the people of Han Country, if you don't take them seriously, they will immediately organize a protest and threaten to dismiss you. I finally managed to secure the position of consul myself, you can't get lost because of this matter that has nothing to do with yourself. What's the point of giving 500 million without having to pay for it yourself? Director Lin, Aubrey gasped heavily, I can't decide on this matter. I have to go back and report to the domestic authorities. Aubrey decided to pass on this burden to the masters in the country, let them make their own decisions whether to give or not. Okay, then I won't keep Mr. Aubrey for dinner. It's easy to leave. Lin Lang stood up and smiled. You're too greedy, they definitely can't agree. Chen Jiang smiled bitterly at Lin Lang before leaving. Director Chen, we can make a bet that he will definitely come again, do you believe it? Lin Lang was full of confidence. Seeing off Chen Jiang and others, Lin Lang took a bite at the restaurant across from the museum, then he went back to the office and opened his mobile phone to browse the museum's official account. Don't look, don't know, at first glance it startles, yesterday, there were only more than 100 people paying attention to the official account, now the number of fans has unexpectedly reached 1.4 million. Like 400000, leave over 10,000 comments. Lin Lang has confidence, 
after the earthquake that occurs tomorrow at the junction of Mount Bana and the Munther Desert in Eagle Sauce Country, fans can definitely exceed 2 million. The system needs to accumulate a certain level of reputation value in order to participate in the lottery. The number of fans is directly related to the reputation value. After all, in order to obtain reputation, one must first have someone pay attention to oneself. What puzzled Lin Lang was that, he searched through the system screen but couldn't find where the reputation value could be seen. Lin Lang once saw in the system description that the system will automatically collect reputation values, when the reputation value meets the lottery requirements, Lin Lang will be reminded. This also saves one's own trouble, Lin Lang decided not to worry about reputation anymore, but instead, he began to ponder on another matter. After the earthquake that struck Eagle Sauce Country tomorrow, the magical prediction function of the seismograph will shock the world. By then, someone will definitely come knocking on your door. Being able to accurately predict global earthquakes is definitely a strategic weapon, what should the country do if it wants to forcibly take away the seismograph? I can't stop it on my own, but Lin Lang is not willing to let his own baby give up like this. What should we do? If it's really not possible, we can only negotiate with the country, I need to let them know, this seismograph can only be interpreted by oneself, even if they steal it, it won't work. The seismograph in the museum is a strategic weapon. They snatched it away, it's just a pile of scrap metal. In the oval-shaped office of the White Palace, everything was in chaos. The milky white wallpaper with rose patterns is covered in brown stains. That's the mark left by Dukens dropping the second coffee cup on the wall. On the blue carpet embroidered with the pattern of a bald eagle, there are fragments of crystal ashtrays all over. Dukens's eyes were red, as if he wanted to eat people. Half an hour ago, Aubrey spread the news that Lin Lang wanted a service fee of $500 million to China. As soon as Dukens heard that his cerebral blood vessels were about to explode, is this damn museum owner treating Eagle Sauce Country like a fat sheep? Can you extort from Eagle Sauce Country as well? I'm pushing you so hard that you don't even know how to die. Anger returns to anger, but Dukens has not yet lost his sanity, the longer time goes by, the more unfavorable it is for Eagle Sauce. If an earthquake really happens in a big city, population transfer and relocation of important equipment both require time. People under low eaves have to bow their heads. In order to continue sitting on the throne of the leader, Dukens can only choose compromise. Dukens notified Aubrey, let him tell Lin Lang, Eagle Sauce Country is willing to spend $100 million to buy this earthquake message. After Aubrey informed Lin Lang of Dukens' quotation, but was rejected by Lin Lang, $500 million, not a single penny can be missing. Received feedback from Aubrey, Dukens was so angry that he dropped another coffee cup, angry and furious, he roared, give him $500 million. Remember this damn kid, when this thing is over, I must let him know what the end of angering Eagle Sauce Country is. Dear everyone, on the first day of the new book, I am looking for flowers, monthly tickets, and evaluation tickets to support it. I am extremely grateful, as long as there is data, I will be able to complete 20 chapters.